reply brief, some of them are in slow motion, and they show that when the shooter is doing this, the hand is moving back, lets the trigger reset, and then another shot to be fired again. So from the shooter's perspective, I'm, ha what about I'm having um, a little trouble with the non-trigger hand. Are you just holding the gun, or are you moving, uh, pushing it forward and then back and forward and then back. So I think the best place to look for this, Mr. Chief Justice, is the district court's factual findings, which are at pages 102A to 104A of the petition appendix. And what he explained is that from the shooter's perspective, it's just one continuous forward push. The expert at trial said, mentally, you're doing nothing but pushing forward. Now, if you look and watch the slow- Continuous, continuously pushing forward or, you, in other words, are you holding it with pressure uh, or are you moving your hand? So what you are doing, I want to distinguish between those two things, actually, because yeah. what you are doing is just pushing forward. Now, if you look at the videos that we cite in footnote one of our reply brief, some of them are in slow motion, and they show that when the shooter is doing this, the hand is moving back and forth very fast, 600 times a second. That's not happening because the shooter is able to move their hand back and forth 600, or, or I'm sorry, 600 times a minute. That's not happening because the shooter can move their hand back and forth that fast. That's happening because every time a shot is fired, the recoil drives the, the rifle backwards over overcomes that steady forward pressure momentarily, that's what lets the trigger reset and then another shot to be fired again. So from the shooter's perspective, we view it as one act and we think that's what the district court finds, which are at pages 102A to 104A of the petition appendix. And what he lets the trigger reset and then another shot to be fired again. So from the shooter's perspective, actually, because yeah. what you are doing is just pushing forward. Now, if you look at the videos that we cite in footnote one of our, we view it as one act and we think that's what the district court found, drives the, the rifle backwards overcomes that steady forward pressure momentarily, that's what back and forward and then back. So I think the best place to look for this, Mr. Chief Justice, is the district court's factual finding. Are you just holding the gun or are you moving, uh, pushing it forward and then back and forth very fast, 600 times a second. That's not happening because the shooter is able to move reply brief. Some of them are in slow motion, and they show that when the shooter is doing this, the hand is moving back. Explained is that from the shooter's perspective, it's just one continuous forward push. The expert at trial said. Pushing forward or you, in other words, are you holding it with pressure 